Welcome to Collins Computing's presentation of one of the new features in Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013 R2. The feature we're going to show today is the desktop action pane choices that a user has when using Dynamics GP. My name is Abra Gilman and I'm a senior consultant at Collins Computing. When a user does log in, the windows that open can have one of three choices. It can have an action pane, an action pane strip, or a menu bar. I'll show you the three examples of those choices. First, I'm going to show you that in GP 2010, this was the previous menu choices at the top of each window. There was these menu drop-downs that gave you additional choices along with the buttons that were applicable to each transaction or inquiry screen. Now I'm going to close GP 2010 and I'm going to pop over to GP 2013. I'm going to open that same window and I will show you that it has changed quite extensively. This is the choice of the action pane and each of these items that used to be part of the menu drop-downs or the optional buttons are now displayed side by side. They still have all of the same features that you would have in the previous windows and when it was display displayed in a menu bar. Now if a user does not want all of these big buttons and menu choices then they would just go to their Microsoft drop-down to user preferences and to the selection that says Window Command Display. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and change it to an Action Pane Strip. Now that user would have to log out of Microsoft Dynamics GP and then back into the program for the changes to take place. So I'm now going to do that. Once the user is logged back into Microsoft Dynamics GP, they can go to that same window and what you'll notice is that the options are now smaller. They still have all the choices, but they're not listed in such big button choices. Now if the user wanted the original menu bar with the drop downs and the buttons, then they would go to the choice under user preferences of menu bar. And I will show you what that would look like when you log back in to Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013 once again. Now when I pull up the General Ledger Transaction Entry screen, you'll see that it looks similar as it did to GP 2010 with the menu choices at the top and then the button choices down below. And just a refresher of what that screen did look like in GP 2010. I'll show it side by side. This was 2010 and this is 2013 with some of the new features that were added in 2013 R2. Thank you for attending our presentation today. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Collins Computing.